How's it going family? And BB here. Today I've got another DVD haul for you all. Uh, I recently bought a whole bunch of stuff online because there was a sale and uh, I got a massive load of uh, DVDs. Um, if I can show you guys, as you can see. Okay, so the first thing you guys may have seen was this. So as soon as I saw that there was this Rathalos uh, plush toy, I was I was in love. I I had to get him. He was just he was so cute. I mean, look at his face. He is just the most cutest little thing. Like his wings and he feels so soft and I love him so much. Uh, the next thing I got was Card Captor Sakura clear card. They really need to hurry up and finish this show because um, it has been far too long and uh, I know I'm getting impatient. I really want to finish this series. Uh, it has English and Japanese uh, in the extras. There's Kagakta Sakura clear card prologue in here, which the prologue is actually really cute, so um, I'm, I'm glad that's in there. Uh, it has... The text list opening and closing as well as some trailers so um, yeah I'm really happy to have this it's very very cute uh, next up is a series that I actually haven't finished watching and that is um, Akusa uh, Magic Girl Spec Ops um, it's actually not too bad a show uh, it's about magical girls that went to war and um, now they're trying to some of them are trying to live like normal lives but uh they're getting forced back into war again uh and yeah it's, it's actually a pretty good show it says from the studio behind the uh heroic legend of arsland it's in japanese and english and the special features are nothing to write home about it's just the opening and closing so um yeah i need to sit down and continue to watch this one because it was actually a really good watch uh, I picked up this one here because um, it was one that I couldn't get here in New Zealand. Um, this was on the, I believe I got this on the JB Hi-Fi um, sale for Australia. Uh, and yes, this one here is, uh, my girlfriend is a show bitch complete series. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember sitting down and watching this and it is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, what do you do when the girl of your dreams is trying too hard to be the girl of your dreams? <laughs> so I mean, that kind of says it all. Um, includes all 10 episodes plus the OVA on the two discs. Uh, special features have clean opening and closing, OVA, um... Fat loads of dirty jokes, uh, characters commentary, Japanese pro promos, and Japanese previews. It's in English and Japanese. So, yes, uh, that's what the back looks like. So that kind of that kind of slightly explains to you more what what this is about. Yes, it is an itchy. It was done by Sentai Filmworks. And um, yeah, I, I didn't finish this series, I don't believe. Um, I need to go back and sit down and watch it, uh, re-watch it, and uh, do a baby's pick on it because uh, it's a series that isn't talked about that much, I don't think. So uh, I think it's about time someone did. <laughs> Next is No Game No Life Zero, uh, the movie. I, I haven't seen this one. Um, special features, Japanese promo, behind the scenes with Sentai Filmworks staff and cast. It's in English and Japanese. Uh, it is 105 minutes long, and um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to sit down and watch this movie because I, I haven't I haven't seen it at all. But it was hella cheap, like seriously, five ten dollars or something like that. Uh, so I was like, well, that for a Blu-ray movie, yes, please. <laughs> Overlord season three. I need to collect the rest of this because Overlord is amazing. Uh, this is a very good show. The extras has chapter eight and thirteen commentary, episodes eleven commentary, um, play play, uh, 
Days 3 Special Preview Collection Chapter 1 Preview Commercials, Textless Openings and Closings That's a lot of extras <laughs> Okay <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah of course it's English and Japanese which you shouldn't be surprised like I I don't really buy um, Japanese only things unless it's very cheap or it's something that I really really like um, like Orimo or um, Erumanga Sensei which I actually haven't bought yet I really need to get around to buying that before like it gets banned or something because <laughs> Ah, the, the New Zealand government is great for banning anime just out of the blue like that, so. <laughs> at least it's not as bad as Australia, I suppose. <laughs> you guys should look at the ban list for Australia. It's, it's a little bit redonkulous. <laughs> uh, oh yes, I got this uh, series here. I started watching it and I was like, oh, I actually really like this one. Um, so when I saw that it was on sale, I was just like, uh, yes, please. Uh, so this one here was just like, it's one of those series that really just went under the radar. Um, Very Gone. So I picked up the full series. Uh, this one here has episodes 13 to 24. Um, and this one here is the first half, which in its special features has interviews with the cast, um, episode one song rodeo, episode two song uh, backtrack, uh, and the text list opening song and text list closing song. So um, yeah, very gone. It's just it's a very different type of series. Um, tell me, when it released, did you guys watch it, or have you even heard of this series? Let me know down in the comments because um, I had never heard of it until like I was just scrolling through the Funimation um, catalogue to try and find something interesting to watch and I came across this one. So um, yeah, that's usually how I kind of find new things unless it's, you know, watching uh, the seasonal things as they come out, which I'm terrible at doing, keeping up with because yeah i'm gonna try my hardest to keep up with uh, the seasonal stuff this year um so fingers crossed i am gonna try and make a video talking about what i want to watch uh with the coming up season uh so i've, I've got that in the works i've got that planned so um we will try and get that out <laughs> Still going, we're about halfway through. <laughs> and um, I got Jar, Jar Jar's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> uh, set 2 Part 1. I haven't seen um, the Stardust Crusades as of yet. I know, blasphemy. Like, what am I doing? I've seen like the other Jojos, but I don't know. I just, I just did not get into this one. Um, so once again, English and Japanese, uh, episodes 1 through 24, and extras is just nothing, it's opening and closings, so this is pretty, pretty average, um, but it's still JoJo's, so, um, I, I will sit down and watch that at some point. Uh, I've got an Essentials, uh, series, which is Aka, or A-C-C-A, -A, uh, Territory, 13 in Territory, uh, Inspection Deputy, The Complete Collection. I don't know anything about this series. It was it was on sale. <laughs> um, much like a lot of a lot of things that I buy sometimes, it's just like, oh yeah, it's it's very cheap, so I'll put it in my cart. <laughs> it's, it's a Blu-ray, it's like $15. It's a full series. Okay, in the cart it goes. <laughs> Uh, we have got Bikini Warriors. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually own this already. Like, I, I kind of feel like I might. It feels like the type of series that I would already own, considering I own, like, Queen's Blade and all that kind of stuff. But, um, if I don't, then, you know, it goes with that type of catalogue. <laughs> Bikini Warriors. Um not the type of anime that you would show your mother so it's 18 plus um high impact sexual themes is what they say um episodes 1 through 12 closing 
Textless Closing version 1, Textless Closing version 2. Um, they're the breast heroes around, guys. They're the breast heroes around. <laughs> oh my god, so, so corny. <laughs> Uh, we have got Megala Box, the complete series, and another show that I haven't seen. Um, not really up my alley, like it's it's a sports series, but it's it's well known, it's well renowned. Um, and again, it was cheap. <laughs> so once again, that's why it went into my into my list. Um, English, Japanese. Do we have anything cool in the special features? Um, interviews with the production team, animation and sound. That's kind of cool. Uh, opening and closing uh, and trailers. So, um, yeah, I mean, the inter interviews are pretty cool. Um, I wonder if they're going to be in English or Japanese. Probably Japanese. Usually a lot of the times when it comes to interviews, uh, they're the Japanese cast uh, and whatnot. So, which I suppose makes sense. Uh, I got uh, Dr. Stone Part 1 uh, for Season 1, which does include some art cards. So uh, we will open this up and have a proper look at this just in its own very quick video. Uh, because, you know, it has special bits and pieces. And if you haven't seen those types of videos uh, already on my channel, if you're new around here, uh, then definitely go and check them out. I like to open up my special edition box sets and show you all what comes in them so then like you can make an informed decision if you want to buy uh, the, the limited edition or whether you just want to get the standard edition. Uh, so I've, I've left a bunch of links down below and up in the iCard. Uh, so go and check that out and uh, as I said yeah we'll, we'll have a little look at the art cards um, in a separate video. Next up which is something that I want to look at buying um, if I can find like the special edition like I remember it was everywhere for a while and then it just like disappeared uh, is Darling in the Frank so it would be nice to own that because the special edition does look kind of nice um, just noticed how trippy the the front of this box actually looks it's kind of like blurry but I, I kind of feel like that they made that purposeful um, but this is a DVD com Blu-ray combo pack. See what I mean? Can can you see what I mean? It's kind of like it's got like a yellow tinge around all of the uh, the image. I don't know. But it's got episodes one through twelve. Um, and we have got part one Blu-ray exclusive bonus content, which is uh, episode six com commentary, uh, episodes twelve video commentary pre-broadcast special, uh, web previews, textless opening song, and trailers. So that's interesting. Okay. Has a reasonable amount of uh, special edition stuff in here. So, nice. Still going. <laughs> we have got Log Horizon, the complete series even though it's not the complete series because um, we have now got more Log Horizon but that is okay because eventually they might release like a, a box set a nice pretty box set and then I'll probably buy it and then it will end up being much like my Lucky Star collection where I just have a whole bunch of different versions of this one anime <laughs> um, but this has episodes 1 through 50 so that's seasons 1 and 2 uh, we have clean opening and clean closing animations uh, okay that that's it for the special features in this okay really really scraping the barrel guys <laughs> But uh, I, either way, I'm I'm really happy that I've got this. I absolutely love the opening for uh, Log Horizon. The openings are great. I when I was watching Log Horizon, I had the opening stuck in my head like 24/7, and it was one of those openings that it's like you can have something stuck in your head where you're just like, oh my god, would you just stop? And then you just 
you have to listen to it just to get it out of your head but then there's on the flip side where you've got a song stuck in your head and you're you're literally like just listening to it in your head because you enjoy it so much that is this opening for this anime <laughs> let me know if you've seen this series and if you haven't definitely go and watch it because it's one of the better series that I would highly suggest people watch if they like uh, isekai but not your standard isekai like you know oh I'm I'm now isekai and I have to save the world and I'm going to be you know I, I'm a knight or a magician you know your, your standard isekai this this one here is like you know they get sent into the game and they have to try and figure out how to live in this new world and while trying to figure out if they can actually go home um yeah it's it's actually really good <laughs> ah okay so this this series here i'm pretty sure so in a previous um haul video i showed the series flip flappers and i was saying that it was made by the same series, uh, the same people that made, I'm pretty sure it's uh, made by Yuri Kuma, um, Penguin Drum, and this series here. So if you like Penguin Drum, Yuri Kuma, Flip Flappers, <laughs> just mind fuckery anime, <laughs> then you'll probably like this series. Um, it is so weird. I haven't seen all of it, but it's like they have a weird obsession with like buttholes <laughs> It's just like what the hell um, Arizan my yes, here we go direct uh, from director Kunihiko Kuhara who bought you Yuri Kuma Arashi and Penguin Drum. There we go told ya <laughs> And uh, as I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure Flip Flappers as well. So uh, if you like those series, you'll probably like this one. I may as well show you guys the, the artwork uh, instead of flapping this, this box around. Uh, it says here, fantasy themes, crude humor. As I said, they have this weird fas fascination with buttholes in the series. You'll understand when you actually watch it. Um, sexual references and animated violence so yes it is an m rating for mature you've got to be very mature to to understand this this weird weird series i don't know <laughs> um special features uh episode 11 commentary uh simply sarah reports uh web trailers textless opening song textless ending song okay awesome uh so yeah i'll i'll probably sit back down and watch this again um i don't know i might make a video talking about uh this director and who the hell he is and why he makes the series that he makes because i swear the the anime that he makes is just like Okay, what is wrong with your mind, man? <laughs> if you've seen all the series that I've, that I've talked about, you'll understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, we are continuing with the complete series of Magical Girl Rising Project. This is one of those, like, it seems like a sweet, fluffy Magical Girl series, but, like, it really isn't. And you will you'll be sad and well i mean they're really not hiding the fact that um that people will be dying in this considering there is literally a a cut off arm on the back so <laughs> there's no spoilers there strong themes and animated violence um cute but deadly it is in english and japanese uh, let me see, where is the special features? Hello? Special, special features? No? No special features? Okay. It's probably on the DVD on the inside. Um, but yes, as you see, there, there is a bloody arm right there. So, um, yeah. <laughs> if, if, 
that triggers you, then you might not want to watch this. <laughs> um, but I, I like I like the dark, the dark magical girl type shows. Um, I, I also like uh, the killing game type shows. Uh, I recently sat down and um, watched the new Higurashi series and uh, it was just, there was something about it that I just, I felt like sitting down and watching something dark. <laughs> and I think they did a pretty good job of the new Higurashi series, to be honest. Uh, so when that comes out, if that comes out, I need to buy that as well. Uh, what have we got here? We have got, oh cool, the, well that's kind of annoying, the sticker is like right over the name of the this is um spectral seven there we go they literally put the m sticker like right over the name it's like why would you do that that's really annoying <laughs> it it is a blu-ray uh it has a slip cover um it it's about policemen who police the afterlife essentially detective work with a magic touch uh, so it has the complete series which includes OVA uh, 0 0.5 and episodes 8.5 so yeah uh, once again English uh, I can't tell if there's any special features because of the way that they've packaged this so um, I'm assuming that there was nothing special with that uh let's see we have got journey tyson zodiac wars i watched this when it came out it wasn't too bad uh it's a killing game uh series uh with the zodiac no the members of the zodiac <laughs> uh and it didn't release in new zealand so that was why i picked up this one because i don't like it when things don't come to new zealand <laughs> so i'm just like well i i need it in my collection now uh, so once again, uh, this one here is in English, it has 12 episodes, uh, and yeah, like, I'm happy to have it, I don't think I'll sit down and rewatch it to be honest, like, it was, it was fine, but it, it wasn't amazing either, to be perfectly honest. And last up, I got Fire Force, uh, Blu-ray DVD combo pack, this here is um i believe the first part has 12 episodes on it uh special features have anime expo 2019 q a with uh, Atsu, uh atsushi okubo uh, speed drawing video by uh the same person and inside the episodes so i'm assuming that's the creator correct <laughs> and uh, i like the fact that um this is all all shiny i really i really like the shininess i already own the uh special edition of the box set hence why i picked up this to uh put that in there and uh i opened it on the channel already so if you haven't seen that video make sure to go and check that out the link is down below and up in the icard up there so that's all that i have for you today this one was a bit of a longer one because that was a much more bigger haul uh I hope that you really enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed showing you guys all of my new stuff. Let me know down in the comments below if there's any of those series that I showed that you enjoyed. Um, are there any of them that you didn't enjoy? I'd like to know why. And um, yeah, I suppose I will see you all again soon. Take care. I love you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to support what I do, then make sure to become a member or go to my Patreon, just like Bernard, Tracy, Knights of the Hidden Realm, Vienna, Xavier, Mandy, Renee, and Bradley. They're all awesome biblioteers, and you can become one as well. So from my Tomeka guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.